trailer wiring. It's one of the biggest challenges I have owning trailers. Currently, I own three trailers, all of which, when I received them, the trailer wiring left a lot to be desired. So hopefully you found this video by searching good trailing pra wire practices or, uh, you know, something that I've done that you've already subscribed to. If you see some value here, uh, click that like button, um, hit subscribe and ring the bell if you don't mind. I'm going to go through what you got here. We've got uh, five trailer wiring tips that we're going to go through real quick. I'm going to give you the walk around. Light box that you see here. It's LED wiring. LED wiring is much more reliable from the way it illuminates and the brightness to even the way they terminate the wires, much better than a lot of the economy systems. I happen to like this particular setup here that we've got because not only is the LED uh, light box effective it's a great place to do junctions it's also very strong so if you walk into it or you know something get bashes into it everything it, you know there's it's held it with a rubber shot you know gasket that almost acts like a shock uh, it works pretty well so that's one component of what we've got here you look down low we've got even this uh, little LED light there it's great, it's out of the way, it doesn't get smashed up like a lot of the other ones. But um, I want to come right down here, and this is the second thing, this is the Pro Plug system. Later on in the video you'll see me remove this cover, and behind there is a bunch of LED circuit indicators. So if you're trying to diagnose something, uh, you can use that to diagnose it quickly. I also like it because this setup here has a plug on this side, the trailer side, that matches the exact plug that I have on my truck here. So when I park the trailer, I can remove that cable system and don't have it sit out in the elements. So that's the second component of reliable trailer wiring. Now I'm going to come over here and start showing you some other things that we've got as far as conduit run all the way there. I have responsible uh, you know, wire routing and uh, grommets to go through areas so it doesn't shave. You can see... Down here, I've got a, a grommet where it passes through. We've got some more grommets where it passes up through there. Um, so that's another component. Now, one of the things I take advantage of these light boxes, I use my terminations here, but I also do a parallel wiring system. So I really like this parallel wiring where I'm running the ground all the way back to this light box, going from this light box forward to the orange uh, side marker. Uh, so that's a component that I really like. I also have my wiring for my running light coming all the way to this side, as well as all the way on the right side. Now, as far as turn signals go, I just have the, the right green wire here, the yellow left turn signal going on that side. So that's, uh, that's what we've got here. Um, you can see. Even some of the conduit that I run there. So this is all conduit done. I had some magnets that I'm holding it up right now. Um, you see I ground some area here where it's going to get welded. So once I'm done shooting the video, I'm going to run over to uh, the shop to return this. Strike up the welder and uh, tack down these things so they don't move. Again, thanks for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe. Give me the feedback. If you like what you see here, if you have questions, I'd love to answer it. Also, if you've seen some of my other videos, any ideas you have for future videos, I'd love to hear it. The feedback's been great so far. Thanks, guys. So I've got everything terminated. Going from left to right, I put some shrink wrap. It's that, that burnt red I'm using for brown. That's my running lamp. The next one is I got my left turn. That's the yellow wire. I have a little trick for you if you're trying to remember between yellow and green, right and left. I always reference the uh, double yellow line on my left hand side is the represents the yellow left turn signal and the green grass on my right represents the right turn circuit. So there we are, brown, yellow left turn, green, 
right turn we skip over a few circuits that we're not using we can see the one just before the white ground terminal is lit because i've been using a uh the seven wire uh plug for my truck and we have 12 volts going to that terminal i do like this because this junction box for 35 dollars really helps to diagnose it and when we're done here I can zoom out for a second here. Let you know I'm just going to reach over here. I can unplug it, remove it from my trailer. And nothing sits out in the weather. So I think it's an awesome system. And uh, I'll continue on this build, summarize a bit, but just hitting home real quick. I think that Pro Plug is a real game changer in the way I wire trailers.